So I always thought that agriculture meant planting something in the ground and then harvesting it and then selling it. That's what I thought agriculture was. The biggest misconception around ag is that it's a job that goes nowhere. You have to have actually grown up on a farm to have a career in agriculture. Lots of labour and sweaty work, whereas in reality it's highly innovation driven. It's not all driving tractors and being in the mud. Yeah, they definitely don't realise sort of the amount of technology. The misconceptions of ag being that it's just all about farming, that just persists because the farming is the cornerstone of the agriculture industry but there is just so much more diversity there. My name is Ellen Summerlad. I'm the Livestock Leading Hand here at Wonga Plains Feedlot for CAM Ag Group. Basically, we just work together with the Livestock Supervisor and the Feedlot Manager to get the day rolling and do whatever needs to be done for our clients. When I started feedlotting, I was employed just as a pen rider. I didn't have any feedlotting experience. I didn't really have a clue what I was doing and basically just stuck with it. Was really keen and eager to learn and worked my way up to leading hand and I really enjoyed the role so far. I'm Georgia Sloss and I work for CAM Agricultural Group as a trainee manager. So learning all about the feeding, the cattle movements, your ration, and how to coordinate pen movements so that I can eventually run a feedlot by myself as a manager. I think there's a huge, huge market. Like even as a training managership, you don't have to have a tertiary background. And there has been changes with how women are more progressive. As long as you put in the hard yards and work your way up, anything is possible in the agricultural industry. It might not be easy, but if you're just a farm hand, you can work your way up to being a farming manager and run a 60,000 acre property. I think uh, if you're in school now and uh, you're considering ag as a career, definitely continue with whatever your passion is, whether it's technology, admin, anything like that. Um, Feedlotting is not just being outside, riding a horse and chasing cows. There's a whole lot more to it. A lot of new experiences and definitely a lot more to learn and places where you can put those skills into practice. So my name's Dave Walton, I'm the uh, operations manager out on a family cotton farm out of Dolby um, and yeah I guess the day-to-day -day running of the show is, is my role and making sure that machinery is where it needs to be, when it needs to be. In the next 10 or 20 years I sort of see the industry moving into more autonomy. I think driverless tractors and robots that will go out and be able to detect whether to spray a weed or chip a weed or or leave it because it's actually a crop being grown is going to take a massive leap forward. There's a bit of a shift, the older generation as such stepping out. The fact that 90% of our work is now done on computers with how technology savvy the younger generation is, I think they can actually deliver more now than what they did 10 years ago. My name's Dan, um, I work for Vanderfield, um, I'm a third year apprentice in the shed. Just helping customers out, repair and maintenance on John Deere equipment. You still get a lot of satisfaction from yeah, knowing you're a part of feeding the world. Definitely with advancements in technology like auto steer, AMS guidance had a massive impact. We're just trying to I guess, increase the efficiency of everything we do. Before I got into the ag industry, the amount of jobs to do with technology and precision agriculture would definitely be a career that I didn't really expect to see as much of as I have. One of the most exciting things is probably um, how quickly technology is changing and advancing in the industry. The agriculture industry itself has definitely got a massive future and there's going to be a lot more jobs becoming available in different fields that like, aren't even available now so I guess that's probably one of the most exciting things. My name is Cheryl McCarthy. I didn't know a lot about ag before I started working in it. There's lots of different uh, kinds of careers or different kinds of uh, disciplines in agriculture. I'm a mechatronic engineer, for example, which is a combination of mechanical and electronic engineering. And who would have thought that it would be such a great opportunity and a great avenue for application of mechatronic engineering in agriculture. This involves developing brand new robotic technologies for use on farms by farmers. The work that we're doing now is developing camera technology that can automatically recognise a weed and in the future it might be that the spot spraying of weeds is actually done by a drone with a tank on it and the camera and it's spotting the weeds and spraying it. My name is Dr Malcolm Gillies. 
I am a research engineer in, in irrigation at the Centre for Agriculture Engineering and I'm a university lecturer in ag, environmental and civil engineering at, at USQ Toowoomba. With the rise of automation and computer technologies in agriculture, I see there's a big need for, for people that are trained in those technologies. There's a need in the future for, for more IT people in, in agriculture to help the industry as well. I'm Ryan Digby, I'm a silviculture forester for inland Queensland. Uh, my role is the establishment and maintenance of hardwood and pine forests. Compared to other industries, you can get put in a bit of a junior role and you have to sort of really work your way up, whereas forestry, they're really looking for those young people to come in and, and work in those management positions. The best thing with forestry is that it's not a specific type of thing. You know, you're out in the field, you're in the office, we've got wildfires, prescribed burning. It's such a wide variety of things in forestry. I think the advantage of that is you're not pinholed into just a certain type of, of work going forward. There's so many different opportunities outside of forestry once you gain those skills. My name is Alex Reddington and I'm a silviculture forester with HQ Plantations. The skills I've learned in forestry, uh, definitely there's a lot of time management, organisational skills, technical skills, interpersonal skills. It's something that all of those skills you can take to any job, you know, wherever you are. Forestry uh, is not only bound by Australia, you know, I'd definitely consider heading overseas and trying to get a job in forestry elsewhere. You see how they do things differently and then when you come back, you know, you've got, you know, this wealth of knowledge. Uh, my name is Kimberly. I am a shed supervisor at a farm. I wish someone had told me how easy it was to develop and progress in agriculture. I've definitely learned a lot of skills and you just keep progressing, you're progressing and there's so many career opportunities. For me, I started out packing in the sheds, was promoted every year and now I'm at the position where I'm supervising 80 people. I'm Eleanor Revel and I work at Rugby Farms as an in-house agronomist and our job is to grow the crops from start to finish, make them as healthy as we can. There's a lot of problems that need solving like climate change and I like that aspect of it. The industry's changed a lot, there's a big push towards sustainability. One of the projects that we run that I think was an achievement was we tried to improve how we grow our broccoli crop and tried to reduce the amount of inputs that we put in and still get a high quality crop at the end and we ended up getting the sprays down from about 10 sprays a season to about three. So we used a lot of biological insects, we did a lot more with the nutrition and I think that really paid off. My name's Nicole Thompson, I'm a sugarcane researcher and I work on plant disease management for sugarcane pests and diseases. Agriculture is really diverse. Anything you want to do, there's a place for you in agriculture. Every farm machinery needs to be engineered. DNA, microbiology sort of work, there's a lot of scope for that because plants get sick, they need plant doctors. That's what I am, I'm a plant doctor. The job market in ag isn't also just on farms. Agriculture doesn't just mean out middle of nowhere on a cattle ranch. There is agriculture research going on in the biggest universities in the middle of the biggest cities. My name's Kayla. I work for the Queensland Farmers Federation as a communications and media officer, and we work to improve the policy environment for farmers in Queensland. I think most people think that most of their jobs in the agricultural sector are out in rural and regional Australia. There are so many different opportunities in agriculture, both on farm and in the city. If you're thinking public service, real estate, law or an advocacy group, there's so many different ways that you can go. Yeah, leaving school was to look into get into the agriculture industry. I definitely tell them to get that hands-on experience. Look at the wide range of different careers that are involved in agriculture. Take as many opportunities as you can to do work experience. Like even if it doesn't seem like it's completely relevant, take that opportunity. Getting out of your comfort zone can generally mean big rewards. You're going to have a lot of fun, make a lot of new friends, and you're going to really enjoy the lifestyle. The career in agriculture for me has really opened a lot of doors that I didn't think even existed. 